Hi everybody, welcome back to the wonderful world of Cyberpunk 2077 and we're on PC and um, what I'm going to be talking about here is what to do when your mods stop working or don't work on Cyberpunk 2077 and even if the whole game stops working as well, you know, what steps can you follow to kind of get them working again and even just to get the game working again because um, that could be a bit of a problem. Now I'm kind of assuming that you're using Vortex to install uh, your mods. In fact, let's just go back here and let's um, stop Cyberpunk chatting away. That'd be better. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of assuming you're using Vortex. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below the video to the Vortex mod uh, down, uh, manager and my video on how to install Vortex. So here we are in Vortex. So you've got a mod, and let's say it was working, but it stopped working. And the first question is, have you installed another mod? Um, and if you have, what you maybe want to do is is uh, is disable that mod because there's plenty of mods within Cyberpunk that can interfere with each, with each other, especially the ones that are anything to do with um, changing the view. So like third person views, first person views, um, stopping camera centering views, all these sorts of things, free fly ones. They can, they can stop each other working and stop the game working as well. So first thing. Um, disable the last mod that you've been using. Um, the next thing you want to do, if there was a mod that was working that isn't, you want to click on check for updates as well and see if there's an update to the mod because there well, may well have been an update to the game that's broken the mod and the modder is then going to do an update and you can get that. Also remember that when there are big updates to the game that break mods, it can take modders quite a long time to get to a situation where they can um, fix their mod, test it, and then push it out for everybody else to use. Uh, a common mistake that people make as well is when they're installing mods is that they forget about the requirements that particular mods may well have. So for example, the free fly clip, um, if you go down from the description, you'll see in the requirements it says it needs cyber engine tweaks and native settings UI. So make sure you do have those installed because it could be, if you don't, well, the mod isn't going to work. The other classic problem that people forget is that, especially mods that use Cyber Engine Tweaks, is that many mods need to be um, activated within Cyber Engine Tweaks. You need to allocate a hotkey in order to turn them on. And so what you do with that is you'll be in... Um, you'll be in the game, you'll bring up Cyber Engine Tweaks, and you'll go to hotkeys, and you'll bind a key for it to work, and it won't work before them. And normally there's a hot key to activate the mod, and there might be some input keys you need to bind as well. So that's another thing that, that can potentially um, go wrong that way. Um, let's say you're in a situation where you've kind of done these things, and the mod still isn't working, or there's something odd going on with the game. What you can then do, what I do is then, I then di basically disable all of the mods um, apart from the ones that I really need. So, for example, I, on PC for Cyberpunk, I really like Free Fly because I can take my character wherever I like and I can have a look around the, the, the night city and the environs. I really enjoy that. And I like the simple menu so you can muck around with your character. Um, and what you need to do is you disable all your mods apart from the ones you want, but then what you do is you go down here and you go open on Nexus Mods and you just look at those requirements and you say, okay, so I need Cyber Engine Tweaks for that one. And then for free fly, what do I need? Uh, open on Nexus Mods, Requirements. I need uh, Cyber Engine Tweaks and Native Settings UI. So then I go back to Vortex and I disable everything apart from those particular mods. Um, and then I restart the game. And, and again, sometimes that will work. And then you can start adding the mods back in again. And that way you can um, see where the problems might be. Another th uh, thing you can do is just on the particular mod that you're working on, just go down and reread the installation. Has this changed at all? Has there been an update which changed the way it works? Another good place for that is within the posts section as well. So this is where people have posted stuff saying, it doesn't work for me, what do I do? And quite often the, the mod creator will write things in there and say, look, you want to do this, or they'll give you suggestions of where to start looking. Just remember, they get hundreds, if not thousands of questions about these mods because Cyberpunk is incredibly popular these days. Um, and sometimes they, they don't have the time to answer. And then you also have, um, if you do a Google search for Cyberpunk 2077, um, modders discord there is a discord that you can go to and you can ask for help um, but again just bear in mind that quite a lot of people who are in these discords 
they're very busy <laughs> and they're not always that patient so make sure you do a search for the problem that you're after within the discord and also also on google as well if you've got a problem why does free fly cyberpunk 27 mod not work do a google search to bring it up now with all those things you may well um solve your mod problem but also you kind of have to accept that sometimes when you are modding in cyberpunk 27 or any other game it will they will just stop working and they will just won't work you know sometimes mods become out of date and they never get updated by by the uh, by the mod creator and that's just a fact of life that's just kind of what happens there's a survival mod that i really wanted to try out where you have to eat and drink but the guy who's written it has kind of stopped supporting it and has said look hopefully someone else will bring this up but i just haven't got the time and that does happen and you know it is a bit sad but, but the way it is now the final thing that sometimes can happen is your game will just break Cyberpunk just won't come up. You'll get an error message saying Cyberpunk has flatlined. Um, you know, please sort it out. So how do you do that? Well, if that happens, you want to go into your launcher. In this case, I'm using uh, the GOG launcher. And you'll want to go to the game. So go to Cyberpunk 2077. So own games, Cyberpunk 2077. Go into the settings that you see up here. Go into manage installation and go to verify repair. So you click on that and then you go to your downloads. And a bit like on Steam, when you can um, verify local uh, files, this is the same thing. So the game is going to go through. It's going to look at your Cyberpunk 27 files and then download the changes. This is a real common problem that you'll get where you'll do a mod. A mod will change something in the game. The game will break and it will just flatline all the time. And it, and it won't run. And you've got to go and you've got to do this. It can take a while to do it. It will download the files. And then you can restart the game. Remember, disable those mods that you think might be having the problem. And then you can start going through the whole process once more of, of getting, the game, uh, getting the game working. Right, so there we go. Um, hopefully you found that useful. If you have it, like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.